think the first thing I want to talk about is this draconian deportation policy of Haitians that the Biden administration has adopted. Uh, got a lot of attention when those Border Patrol, uh, you know, horses using whips against the Haitians got a lot of attention. Uh, they plan to deport about 15,000 Haitians, although a lot of the Haitians have run back to the Mexican side, so they don't get deported back to political chaos, potential violence, and grinding poverty, particularly after this most recent earthquake. The Biden administration is using a Trump policy called Title 22, which uses COVID as an excuse to keep people out of the country. You know, I think our policy should be, if they come in, test them, they need a vaccination, vaccinate them. If they're uh, infected, you know, isolate and uh, quarantine them. Um, in other words, treat them medically, deal with the pandemic <clears throat> as a medical issue, not a keep them out you know, Fortress America issue. And this immigration issue is only going to become bigger. Uh, they already say there are a million and a half uh, climate refugees within the United States due to hurricanes, flooding, and wildfires. And the bigger impact is in the tropics, particularly countries like uh, those in Central America, uh, Mexico, where uh, it's just getting too damn hot to farm. Uh, I remember a statistic of uh, Salvadoran uh, farmers and, and agricultural workers, and something like a third of them have kidney damage from being dehydrated just because it's so hot. And uh, so it, it's just not safe to even work in those conditions. So we're going to have a lot more of this. And if we're going to deal with immigration by keeping people out, uh, it's going to cause a lot of misery and it's not going to solve a problem because one way or another, people are going to cross that border and get in here. And uh, so we got to find a way to deal with that. And the other thing, the Supreme Court said the Biden administration has to uh, adhere to Trump's remain in Mexico policy, which all the international organizations, UN, human rights, say is uh, against international law. Countries, and it's U.S. law too, should provide opportunities for asylum for people asking for it. But instead... We send them back across the border to Mexico. Now, Mexico went along with that Trump. Now they're protesting. Uh, but meanwhile, Biden is implementing that policy while they say they are going to litigate against it. I guess they're going to bring a new lawsuit through the federal courts because they lost at the Supreme Court on that. Uh, how long is that going to take? Meanwhile, uh, all these migrants are being told to stay on the Mexican side of the border against international law. So, uh, Immigration policy is uh, inhumane. Uh, Biden campaigned on making it uh, rational and humane, but that's not what's happening. And that really came. And the other thing is, we haven't been enforcing Title II against uh, Latin Americans, but mainly against Haitians. There's the anti-Black racism involved in this policy that seems to pick on the Haitians. Um, and that's a problem too.